Welcome. In this video, I will show you one of the most common problems when installing Linux along with Windows. The error message, the bootloader could not be installed, typically occurs during the installation of an operating system or when attempting to update the bootloader on a computer. This message suggests that there was an issue with installing or configuring the bootloader, which is crucial for the system's boot process. Most often, the problem is the size of the EFI partition that Windows created during installation, and it is too small, only 100 megabytes. Today I'll show you one way to extend the EFI partition to make room for the grub loader when installing Linux distributions. Let's get started. Search Google for Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Download the free version and install it on your computer. Mini Tool Partition Wizard is a very useful tool, at least for me, and I use it often. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for our next videos. Now open the mini tool partition wizard. Here we see all the partitions on our disk. The first one is the EFI partition, and it's only 100 megabytes, so we want to make it bigger. The second one we will delete is the Microsoft Reserve partition. All GPT disks created by Windows have one, and it is 16 to 128 megabytes in size. Windows setup creates it as 16 megabytes by default. Now we need to make room to enlarge the EFI partition. So we need to resize partition C. Now right-click on partition C and go to Move and Resize. I want to make an additional partition on which to install Linux afterwards, so I will free up more space on the right side. The space that we will free on the left will be the one that we will add to the EFI partition. I don't want the EFI partition to be larger than 1 GB, so I'll only allocate 800 MB for a total of about 900 MB. Now I will delete the second Microsoft Reserve partition. We get a free space of 836 megabytes, which we will add to the EFI partition. I will make a partition for Linux, which I will install later. Ok, everything is ready. Now we press apply, then we have to restart the computer and wait for the mini tool partition wizard to do the rest. The computer will restart once more after the process is complete. Be patient. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for our next videos. Ok now we can check the new disk partitioning. Everything is fine. You might also look in Windows Disk Manager.
That's it for today. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for our next videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.